Shalom, Israel, most high Christ. Bless. I'm Officer Michael, Israel in Christ. We're here to teach you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible and point out your iniquities. That's what we come to show you. Give me Amos chapter 3 and verse 9. Because a lot of our brothers and sisters, we need to put the needle down, put the smoke down, stop intermingling with these heathens. They're going to drag you out of the customs that the Lord gave to you. We come to give you warning. Destruction is coming to America. Destruction is coming to all those who don't keep God's commandments. Right. Amos chapter 3. Get that. This is the book of Amos chapter 3, verse 9. Read. Published in the palaces at Ashdod. Verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not afraid? Read. Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord not have not done it? Those trumpets are referring to us, the prophets of God. Has there been evil in the city and God has not done it? The Lord that God said none can deliver out of his hand. The spirits of vengeance are appeased for the Lord. He's brought those things upon this earth to punish those who don't keep his commandments. Can you read it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Those secret things are revealed to us. We come to teach you, so-called black man, so-called Hispanic man, show you your true nationality, your true heritage. Come back to God's laws. We're crying out to you. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1 to show you your true nationality. Hey, brother, come here for a second. With the baby, come here, bro. Check, check. I want to show you something, man. Hey, how you doing, brother? What's your name, man? Jay. That's your baby right there, Jay. We want to show you so go to our uh, go to Isaiah chapter three. I want to pour something out to you, bro. Because the reason a lot of people are caught up in their ways and their nukes, they don't know who they are. First, you gotta know who you are to even know where you're going. At. All right, read. This is the book of Isaiah chapter one, verse three. The ox knoweth his owner, the and the ass his master's crib. You know the Lord said, brothers, the ox knoweth his owner and his and the ass his master's crib. But watch this. But Israel does not know. But Israel, hey bro, you see yourself on the side right here, Bucks, come here, come close, come close. I'm gonna show y'all something, man. Y'all gotta understand who you are to know where you're going at. You see yourself on the side right here anywhere? Based off your father, you see where yourself on the side right here? I guess American black. American black from the tribe of Judah. What about you, brother? Where you see yourself on the side right here? American black. American black. All praise. So you from the tribe of Israel. You from the same tribe that Christ, the black Messiah, came from. That's right. So the Lord said the Israelites don't consider it all. Read that again for the tops of the here. Read. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. You hear that? The Lord said Israel do not know who they are. They don't even consider. How do we know y'all didn't know? Because I had to point you to this sign to point out your tribe, to point out who you are according to the Bible. You're God's chosen people. Thus save the Lord. You want to know how you identify as this tribe? Go to, go to Numbers. Let's show these brothers who they are according to the scriptures. Watch this. I want to show you in the Bible, thus save the Lord, to prove to you what tribe you're from. It's based off your father. Okay? So that's what they mean. who we are and where we're going. And there's laws, statutes, and commandments for the Israelites. Hey, brothers, y'all come check these signs out, man. Y'all got to know y'all God's chosen people. Read what you got. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Read. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees. So this congregation is talking about the nation of Israel. They're going to declare their pedigrees. They're going to show you what they're declaring their lineage after. Read. After their families, by the house of their fathers. Of their what? Of their fathers. Brother, your lineage is based on the house of your father. Not your mother, but your father. You hear people say all the time, oh, uh, we ask you, what's your nationality? People say, oh, I'm uh, Puerto Rican and Chinese. Now, who is your mother? Well, my mother's Chinese, so I'm mostly Chinese, and my dad, he's Puerto Rican. No, the father carries the seed. You understand that, brother? The mother's just a vessel to nurture that seed. When you look at the woman, right? You know what fer you know what fertilization is? If you go to the store and get some fertilizer, what does that fertilizer do? That fertilizer is used to bring nutrients to that seed. When that seed 
branches off and it turns to whatever fruit or plant that it is, it doesn't it doesn't mean it's part dirt. No, it's what that fruit is. So the woman is the fertilizer and the man carries the seed. That's why our lineage is based off of our fathers. You understand that, bro? So we're going to show you in the Bible, thus says the Lord, that the God gave us law, statutes, commandments. A lot of our brothers out here smoking and getting drunk, and the Lord tells us not to do that. So we're going to show you who those laws were given to, and we're going to get some laws for you. So open, give me Psalm chapter 147, and start at verse 19. We're going to show you who the laws were given to, and we're going to show you some laws, all right? Listen up, what's your name, what's your name brother? T. Brother T. Okay, my name is Brother Michael. Listen up. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. Unto Israel. Now, Brother T, earlier, I pointed you to this chart, right? And you showed me you were from the tribe of Judah according to this chart. So you're of the nation of Israel. So what we're bringing out to you right now in Psalms 147, that the Lord chose Israel, and he gave his laws, statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. Keep reading. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. You hear that part right there? Now that may sound scary. You say, as far as his judgments, no one else has known them but our people. So what does God's judgments look like? Look at these signs right here, brother. These are God's judgments on his people that break his commandments. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. This is what happens when you break God's commandments. It only happens to his chosen people. That's what we just read in the Bible. So thank God that the other nations haven't felt, these, felt God's wrath. Why? Because they haven't, given his, they haven't been given his laws. Therefore, these people can't break the commandments so they can't enter into the kingdom. Because the only way you can get into the kingdom is by keeping God's laws. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Brother, see, you know what the word hearken means? It means to listen and to do. That's what hearken means. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to, and to do all his commandments. You hear that? To observe and to do all of his commandments, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, and all these what? Curses. Brother T, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? If somebody curse you, put a curse on you, is that good or bad? This is what a curse is right here. This is what happened to our people, listen. Hey, brother, come on, check this out, man. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Lord said, all these curses, curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Until when? Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, brother, see, we're going to show you this curse right here in the Bible. We're going to show this to you. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. We're going to go through some curses and show you what happened to our people when we broke God's laws. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Hey, brother, see, the Lord said we'll become an astonishment and a byword among all nations. What would you? What is a byword? What does that mean? A byword? You're not sure. In America, just in America, we don't go about just in America. How many times have the name of our people been changed? We've been called what? Before we were African American, what were we called? Negroes. Negroes. What else? Niggas. What else? Coons. What else? What about on birth certificates? We've been called color. Afro-Americans, Negroes, these are bad words. And if you go to other nations across the world, they all got a different word for us outside of nigga. They all got a, a, a derogatory word for us. That's what the Lord is talking about. Read. Verse 38. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shalt gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. What is it going into? When we go into the service this land right here, 
A lot of those things we're not even gonna reap the benefits of. Let's go let's go to jump to verse 68. Jump to verse 68. Tell me, does this sound familiar to you, brother T? Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Brother T, the Lord our God said he'll bring us into Egypt again with ships. Now, are you familiar with the movie, The Ten Commandments? Are you familiar with Moses, the, the Lord using Moses to deliver the Israelites out of Egypt? Now, did they walk out or did they swim out and they take a boat out? What did, what did they do? Did they walk out? Right, but the Lord said this time those people will go into captivity with what? With ships. So now let's fast forward to 1619. What people, 1492 and 1619, what people went into slave ships? Where that sign at? What people do you see went into slave ships? Did it like me and you, or did it like the so called white man, the so called Arab man, Chinese man? Who went into slave, uh, chattel slave ships? We did, our people did. That's one of the curses from breaking God's laws. Keep reading. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. What are we not going to see again, brother T? We're not going to see our homeland, Jerusalem, again. Because the Lord took us into captivity. He's going to explain to you the exact people that took us into a captivity. So I want you to pay very close attention and correlate with this scripture with, with today. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Stop right there. But see, who sold, the Lord said we'll be sold unto our enemies. Who sold us with auction blocks? That, you see that thing right there, that gazebo right there? That's actually, that gazebo was built around an auction block right here in Portsmouth, Virginia. So who sold us on those auction blocks when those boats came in in the Virginia ports? Who were those people? What did they look like? Huh? Let's be more specific. White people took us into slavery. But look, our people don't consider. You see what they're mingling with? Look around. They don't even think about it. That's what they're mingling with. Their very own enemies. The Lord says we have enemies. But these people, they're not thinking themselves. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. So here in this land, America will be sold for slave men and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you, and no man will be able to redeem us. We've had many leaders rise up, and they've been put to death. Because any movement that they've had, it was, they were not keeping God's laws. So the only one that's going to come and redeem us is Christ, our Savior. Get it in Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. He's the only one that's going to redeem us, Christ. But how, why is, how is he going to redeem us? Only if we keep his laws. That's what the Lord teaches us. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Read. This is the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 68. <coughs> Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He's the God of who? His people. He's the God of who? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He's only the God of Israel. He's coming to redeem his people, us that was taken to slave ships. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.